In this video, I'll show you the basics of the block editor so you can get started with it right afterwards. So first of all, I've started a new project and added a template page to it, which I'm currently in the process of editing. So let's start with editing my page uh, at the left side of the screen here on the view bar, in which we'll be able to see the add button here to add elements to our page. So when I click it, a big library opens with all types of elements which to choose from, which I can simply add to my page by clicking them and dragging them in there. So I'll add this subtitle here by dragging it in here and it will be automatically added to my page. Then we have the pages button here, which we can use to switch between the pages inside of the project and we can switch between projects as well. Then we have both the desktop and mobile buttons. So first of all, by default, we're always developing for desktop. So we start editing here for desktop, um, which is the landscape orientation. So a more horizontal orientation of a page. And we can of course add it for mobile as well, which is a more portrait uh, and vertical orientation of the page. That being said, everything added in desktop. So for example, I've added this subtitle here, this medium subheading will automatically be added in that very same position to mobile as well. Uh, but that will not work the other way around. So for example, if I were to go and add a button here to my mobile version, um, you can see the indicator at the top right here already that this will only be, uh, be visible on mobile and will not be uh, not be visible on desktop so it will not be automatically added so be sure to always start editing for desktop before you start making the translation to mobile to make sure you don't have to add everything twice then we're going to the top of the screen in which we'll be able to see the save button here which we can use to save our page and be sure to do that regularly since we don't update we don't save the page automatically then we have the check button here, which you can use to check our page to check if it's uh, if it's uh, if it's actually looking good for uh, in the end for the end user for our viewers. So we have a desktop format here, which we're viewing now. Then we have a tablet format as well, and a mobile version, in which we'll be able to see the button now, for example. Then we're seeing the publish button here as well, which we can use to publish the entire project entirely. Um, so for either for preview or for the live version as well. Then at the top right here, we see the options button, which we'll be able to, uh, to use. And I'm going to highlight one of the buttons here is the retrieve backup option. Uh, so every time you save your page, a backup will be created. Um, so if you delete an element, for example, you want to retrieve it, you want to set it back, you can use it, the retrieve backup option to, uh, to set back uh, an already saved or an historical version of your page to set back the, uh, the page with the elements present in it. Then next to that, we have the undo and redo options. So to either undo an action that you've just performed or to redo the action that you've just performed. Then we're going all the way to the right side of the page. Uh, which is the configuration tab and we'll be able to use it to either configure our page itself or to configure the elements inside of the page. So first of all, we're in the layers tab here, which will be able to see all of the present layers in the page. So for example, we're first of all, we're on the default layer here, which is the main page itself. So which is the page that people will land on, people will view initially. And for this template specifically, there's three types of pop-ups present in it. So all of the images here re represent one pop-up. They're clickable and a new window will open with content present to show more information about that specific image, for example. And we'll be able to edit the contents of that pop-up by clicking on the layer itself. Um, so for three images here, there's three pop-ups here as well. We'll be able to click that and to see which there. So there's nothing present here right now, but of course you'll be able to add your content to that by simply dragging it in there. So dragging a title and a subtitle in there as well, or an image. 
So you can edit the contents of that pop-up yourself by, uh, by dragging in elements right from there. And of course, when I'm clicking defaults, I'll be going back to the uh, to the main page. Then we're going to edit the elements itself, in which we're going to the second tab here. So the image tab is called right now, but if I'm going to click text, it will be translated to text. Um, and we'll be able to use that to edit our elements. So for example, this image, I can, I can edit it by uploading my, an image of my own or opening the library, uh, setting the position and the alignment of the image itself, changing its overlay or background color as well. And there's of course different settings for, uh, for text, which you'll be able to change the font of the, uh, of the text, the weight of the text and the size, for example. Then we have the, ter the third tab here, which is the animations tab, which we'll be able to use to add animations to my elements. So every element will be able to receive a type of animation. So there's basic animations here, um, which will start uh, whenever the page is loaded. So this page step up, for example, I want to apply it to my title here. And this other text here, I can apply a fade step or fade in here. So simply by clicking the, uh, the animation types, the animation will be added to that text and will be shown in the preview or the actual live version of your page. And then inside the page itself, so we're seeing the page here in the big middle of the screen. Of course, we'll be able to add content, which I've just shown you. Uh, but since we're in the template editor, there's some limitations to it as to where I can place my content. So each template has received a specific area which you can use to fill with content. Uh, so for each template, that area will be different, will be uh, located in a different, different part of the page. And for this one, it's placed on the left side of the page. As you can see here, the content has been added. And when I'm going to add new content, the area will show itself. So you can see here the dotted line that is being shown here outside of the elements present. Uh, which is the uh, which indicates the area which I can use to add content. Uh, so I can add content in here inside of this area and the content will be added. But if I were to place it outside of it, so here, for example, in the top right, nothing will show. So it will not be placed inside of the page. And that concludes the contents of this video. Be sure to check out any of the other videos to get more information about Magler and its editors.